Let's continue our talk about triangles. I'd like to define a term known as similar. Okay, so let's take a look at this definition. Two triangles are similar if the corresponding angles are congruent. Okay, the sides don't have to be the same, but the angles must be the same. That's what congruent means. Basically, means equal. Okay, let's take a look at this example. It says the following triangles are similar. Now let's see why they are similar. The definition of similar states that all we have to do is have corresponding angles to be the same or congruent. Now notice I have a right angle here. Okay, This angle here is pi fourths. This angle here is pi fourths. Well, if this angle is pi fourths, then this has to be pi fourths because the sum has to be 180 degrees. Okay, and this is a 45 degree angle. And this has to be pi fourths. So notice that the angles are all the same. When I think of similar, I just think of taking one triangle and putting it in a copy machine and blowing it up. Okay? It either gets bigger or smaller, but the, it's, it's proportional to each other. Okay? Now let's look at this. Notice, remember our special right triangle. Our relationship was 1, 1, square 2. Take a look at this triangle. Notice it has the same relationship. This one is 5, 5, 5 squared of 2. Notice we simply can multiply 1 by 5, 1 by 5, squared of 2 by 5 to get these sides. Okay? So let's define a constant here. All right. So let's say we have two triangles. I'm just going to call them A and B. If two triangles A and B are similar, then there exists a constant K such that the corresponding lengths of the sides of the triangles differ by the multiple of k. In other words, if we look at that last example, we have to find a number that we can multiply all these sides by to get these sides. Notice in this example, k was equal to 5. Okay? 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times square root of 2 is 5 squared of 2. So it's going to be our task to figure out what that constant is. All right, let's look at an example. It says the following two triangles are similar. Let's find k and find the lengths of the missing sides. Well, let's first of all try to find the length of this side here. I'm given a right triangle. Okay. I know the Pythagorean theorem says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So first, I will go ahead and find C. 5 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. 25 plus 144 equals C squared. 169 equals C squared. S taking the square roots, square root of 169 is 13. So I use the Pythagorean theorem to come up with the hypotenuse here. Now, we have to figure out the sides of this triangle. Now, it was given that these are similar, which means they have the exact same angles. The sides aren't the same, but they're going to have the same relationship. So let's figure out our k. So we want to figure out what k is. Okay. Well, notice I've got 5 here. This side here corresponds with this side here. So I know that 5 times some constant k must give us a half. And we'll solve for k. So if I divide both sides by 5, k is equal to 1 over 10. There's my constant. If I multiply 5 times 1 over 10, I'm going to get a half. If I want this side, all I have to do is take 12 times 1 over 10. We'll simplify. Let's see, 2 can go into each. So this side must be 6 fifths. Okay. And if I want the hypotenuse over here, I know my k. So 13 times our k equals 13 over 10. And I now have my missing size. Okay? 
So it's not too bad. What you want to do is look for the sides that correspond, okay? And we set up this little equation. Okay, remember we were given this length was five, we were given this was a half. So five times some k is equal to half, and we got our k, and then we just multiply the corresponding sides. Okay? So that's similar. Uh, in the next lecture, we'll uh, work with those special right triangles that we talked about earlier, and we'll figure out the missing sides of those. So stay tuned.